Hello, my name is Jacob. This is the Art Life video blog, and we are here today with Tim Luther and Christopher Hoisington. And we're gonna, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna videotape down here in the basement and let them kind of talk. So, yeah, Tim Luther is a woodworker. He builds uh, mostly furniture, he does some kind of framing and different kinds of stuff like that when he doesn't have the furniture work, but. Uh, we're just standing down here looking at the raw wood right now. We were talking about how beautiful this black walnut is. Over here. Um, he says it, he gets it from Gobi? Yeah, Gobi Hardwoods has some really fine quality black walnut. Um, they get their wood from the urban trees in Portland and then kiln dry it and all that stuff. This is, uh, how much would you say this board would go for? Oh, uh, probably $250 or so. It's about nine feet long a couple feet wide a couple feet wide yeah that's that's top grade walnut and that's that's the kind of that's this kind of wood that he he was showing this earlier he gave us you know this this rough hewn and it's a uh, what did you call it it's old growth walnut black walnut yeah it's from a tree that's probably i don't know four or five hundred years old because they have to be quite big I don't know if you can see that price on there, but this is very expensive wood and it's really beautiful. I wish the camera really can't do it justice, you know, it never does. Camera does all right. I mean, do you want to really show beautiful. off some of these, the wood tools or the, the sure. hand tools? So yeah, you, here's now, some hand tools here. You started out with your father when you were a child, right? Yeah, my dad was a woodworker for 30 years. He was a philosophy professor that, um, that uh, retired and learned woodworking and I was lucky enough to learn from him all the basics because when you do it by hand you learn about wood and how it moves and how to contain it and um, it's a it's an awesome way to learn and then of course to be competitive in today's world you know I go ahead and use some machines <laughs> but when you when you talk about how it moves wood has a natural expansion and contraction mm -hmm. you know especially in Oregon with the moisture I'm sure that it's a big problem right? it changes with the season and if you just bind it like say with screws or if you you if you contain it it'll just crack because it, it will move anyway and so you have to kind of build a frame and let it move and kind of think about how the wood will act so that it so that it lasts and these hand tools that Jacob, Jacob was talking about, these are the hand tools that you started out with? Or well, the kinds of tools you used when you were... There's a few of them your... there. Um, this is a collection of spoke shaves. And this is actually a, called a draw knife to make like your uh, seat handles and stuff. That's a spoke shave. Yeah, I mean, they're basically... These are like little planes in a way that you use in your hand. And, yeah, um, sort of... Yep. Yeah actually you draw it towards you like this right yeah correct yeah this way or this way that way there's yeah. a ridge right there so it must be this way yeah yeah the old the old way to shape stuff so this people... is a threader yeah you could th you could thread with that yeah hand tools old school I like that old school stuff. There's there's an old school bike for you. He also races bikes. He said he was six in the nation. Eighth in the nation, Eighth at, in one the nation at one point. <laughs> wow. So he did not try out for the Olympics though. So, so come on upstairs. Yeah, let's go up and see some of the work that he's doing that he's done. It's Christopher's butt. So a lot of things you just need, like we needed a chopping block, so made a chopping block. Out of black walnut? <laughs> That's Hillary, my wife. Hello, Hillary. Here's a bowl, you need a salad bowl, made a salad bowl. <laughs> he turned it on a lathe. It's very cool. And his, his father made the, uh, the chairs and the table set. Look at this. Uh, work on the seat that he did that's amazing yeah he even did the rushing yeah that's that's beautiful i love this yeah the shakers were really into lightweight furniture they used to actually have pegs on the wall and when they were done using a chair they just hang it up <laughs> wow 
very space efficient. You said that um, all of your father's uh, designs were like sh shaker designs as well. Traditional. Traditional. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, so this was a wedding present to Hillary and I, um, and this is a shaker rocking chair with a shaker candle stand. Actually, that's a classic design. That's a two hundred year old design, believe it or not. And what kind of wood is this? You know, it's curly maple. I want to see if we can get the top of this on there because it's got a really beautiful pattern in the grain. It's just gorgeous. Yeah, the, the grains that come out of the work here are amazing. Uh, there's a table over here that I wanted to show. That... Now, this is the black walnut that we were talking about downstairs, right? Yep, same stuff. Here, we can just take this out so you can see the grain. But this is one solid piece of black walnut. And, and also show the edges. Has the uh, half line dovetails there. Classic way to make a drawer. He doesn't use any screws or any nails, any kind of fasteners at all. So again, this has a groove here so that this solid bottom can expand and contract and not, you know, not crack because it wants to be able to expand and contract. Mm -hmm. And then these are the shaker legs tapered down to the bottom. You can see here the frame. There's This is sitting in this frame here. So. Now these two vases I built um, for our wedding actually and they acted as our altar. So there you go. What kind of flowers did you have in them? Yeah, was it? They're designed. Yeah, they were designed with a flowers. removable top so that you can actually put water in here and have your things that hold the flowers and you put this back on so they just cascade it out. And so, yeah, another, another taper turned on a lathe. My dad has a lathe with a 12 foot capacity. So, um, the insides are really cool too because it's made out of a bunch of slats mm -hmm. that are that are glued in a circle. Yeah, it's a 16 16 sided figure and a 90 degree fits into a certain shape to make that. It must have been a, a work of math in order to get the taper right. <laughs> it was tricky. <laughs> <laughs> Come on out, I'll show you the shot. All right. Oh, wait, one more thing. Oh, yeah, the desk. Yeah. You can see that. So this is a desk I made for Hillary, and she actually designed this. She said she wanted this. Um, she does work on a computer for her work. And it's got the dovetails along the edges. See the top of this. See the uh, dovetail edges there? There's, I like this little detail back here. It's got these little pins back here that hold the back to yeah. the... It has a solid wood back. You don't see that on anything. Really. Yeah, the solid wood allows you to put it in the middle of a room and, and it'll be a fine piece of furniture from every angle. So this is... This is a file, file drawer here. Slides out easy on its ball bearings. Very smooth. And then um, it's got room for two laptops. <laughs> so it's actually a so. desk. So you pull the, you pull that out and then you put a chair there, you got yourself a desk. Yeah, and so it's designed with, this is actually work height here. This is a standard table height here so that you can be working, but then it slides away. You're done with your work and you can close it all up and not look at it anymore. Now this is the ma mahogany. One of the things, one of the reasons we got to see this was because he's got a mahogany piece out in the garage or out in his shop right now that isn't, isn't, uh, hasn't aged and the darkness of this mahogany is due to the age is what he was telling us. Yeah, this is eight years of sunlight hitting it and UV light and you'll be amazed how light the, the new mahogany that's just two days old is. Yeah. Um, and that's the one thing about really high quality furniture we were talking about you know I mean everybody wants really inexpensive furniture because you can go out and get it and you can get a lot of it mm -hmm. for fairly cheap but it doesn't last it's not and heirloom it yeah and it doesn't age well and right. that's one of the thing about this handmade wood 
is that it's it ages well. So twenty years from now, it'll look probably better than it was right now, brand new. So, yeah, you could you could pass this down to your grandchildren for yeah. sure. It'll it'll just look better. Do you want to tell the story about uh, how you made it? Um, you mean for Hillary? For Hillary? <laughs> well, you know, um, when I met Hillary, she told me kind of right off the bat that she needed a desk. And um, I was, because she was impressed I was a woodworker. And I was like, well, I can build you a desk, um, but I'm going to charge you $2,500. And she's cool. And so she actually did it. And um, I remember when I got it done, she actually wanted me to stain it dark because she wanted it to look like that. And I had to promise her it will darken. <laughs> <laughs> um, and it did, luckily. <laughs> she's happy and with she it And she was now. patient she's enough. She's happy with it <laughs> Yeah, she loves it. Good. So. Let's put this chair Yeah, let's go there. see the, the, new, the new record stand. So keep in mind the darkness of that desk, and we'll look at the other piece out in the shop. This is, he made, you can't really see this very well in here, but the... I wonder the, if we can see the walnut. The walnut bed here. This is the first bed that he ever made. This is the bed they used. Yeah, I've made five beds since January. This and, is um, just beautiful. It's a very, walnut makes a very solid bed, no creaking. Yeah, that's top grade walnut. Okay, let's go out in the shop. Right? I love the way it looks from the outside in the dark. Oh, right. it's a nice little enclosure, yeah. He, he built- Old growth columns right here, turned on a lathe. Yep, eight, eight foot columns turned on a lathe. Old wow. Growth. These are a hundred year old uh, barn wood right up here. Probably cut with a steam powered saw. Um, Kenton Salvage Works has that. So this is the shop, this is where it all happens. This is the big band saw. I love the way it smells in here. He uh, yeah, hit a good. rock in it with this band saw in one of those big pieces of wood that we saw in his basement. Sawed right through it, but then the blade got stuck, and I'm here cutting it apart, cutting the, the band apart. Luckily, I just call up my people that make the blades and make me one, and it's, it, go, it goes away. It probably goes away. <laughs> so this is, this is the new mahogany before it's aged. You can see how much lighter it is. And this just has a couple, um, couple layers of shellac on it. It hasn't been exposed to sunlight yet, so it'll darken just like that desk was earlier. How fast does it darken? Um, it'll be quite a bit darker in two months, and I'm hoping it's I'm hoping the customer's satisfied when I first get it to them. But I'm just gonna promise um, Todd that it will be right eventually, <laughs> <laughs> and Liz will love it. And so this is gonna have about a foot, um, it's gonna have legs that raise it up and all your records go right here and your record player goes here and um, your other components there. So. I need one of these for my, my record. <laughs> if anybody wants to get me a gift. Records are hip. To, no, I'm talking about a, a, a record. Oh, well, that's your address. This is just a, a little of the, the uh, so my crew drawing I work off of. That's the plans for this thing. <laughs> He's, he, he works pretty simply. <laughs> so this is the joiner. Yep, helical blades right here. These are four-sided blades right here. And you get a, a new edge, you loosen this and just turn it, a quarter turn, and you get a whole new edge. Wow. Um, so I flatten the board one side on this, mm -hmm. and then take it to the thickness planer. So the one side is flat, take it to this. This has cutters on the top, so it runs on the flat surface, gets perfectly flat on the other and perfectly parallel. And this is your, your newest toy, right? Yeah, this showed up last Saturday. And it's an upgrade from the old one I had for 15 years. And you know, I wanted, these helical cutters work good on the black walnut, they cut real clean, so. Equipment sales, they're really awesome for these tools, the Oliver tools. 
Um, this bandsaw, it's a lot safer than a table saw. This saw is going down into the table.